how to set up your controller for Farah in Overwatch 2. Hey! So if you haven't seen my previous video on how to set up your pro controller for other heroes like Lucio and Mercy, I highly recommend you check that out first. With that in mind, I'll be showing you various different setups on custom remapping your pro or non-pro controller based on your own playstyle and preferred hero. This time with Lieutenant Fariha Amari, aka Farah. Justice reigns from above. Farah is a highly situational hero, especially when the opponents don't really have a lot they can do whenever she's high up in the air. And unlike some other heroes, Farah's rockets don't have damage falloff, which makes her a really deadly opponent from long range. Couple that with her rockets dealing an area of effect damage, Farah can easily secure kills and even multi-kills, provided she stays in the air most of the time. But staying in the air, and most importantly, remaining effective in the air, is a lot easier said than done. But that's where her verticality airtime, and accuracy will all need to be leveraged to stay effective in the game. But to help you achieve all that, you'll be needing to adjust your settings quite a bit, and with a whole new controller layout, you'll be heaping praises from even your own competitors. First up, we have the standard layout. Just like in the previous video, I mentioned that some players will always be inclined to stick to the default layout. Keeping everything the same is highly recommended for those who tend to swap heroes more often than not. But since Farah needs to lead her shots to compensate for a rocket's travel time, you will need to adjust the settings to your own preference. Well putting the lead time into account. First open the menu and select options. Press R3 and select Thera. Now that you have Thera on screen, tick advanced and copy the sensitivity and aim assist settings on screen. While it is clearly up to your own preference, this is what I personally use when playing as Thera. But as for the pro controller, like the DualSense Edge, you can set the X button to the left back button, or LB, and then the circle button to the right back button, or RB. But feel free to swap these two if you wish. Next, we have the air superiority layout. As mentioned before, Farah's time in flight is directly correlated to how effective she can be in a team fight. And if you're able to get maximum verticality with a proper combination of your skills and button presses, you can almost always stay in the air indefinitely. On the controls panel for Farah, scroll down to the movement section and remap jump to L2. Then in the weapons and abilities section, remap ability 1 or jump jet to L3 and then Ability 3, or Rocket Barrage, to the L1 button. Since secondary fires just basically hover, this makes it redundant since the jump button always allows Farah to not only jump, but also hover as well. This layout will enable Farah to juggle all her rocket skills, while still staggering her fuel usage and jump abilities at the same time, all while still allowing you to be able to aim by keeping your thumb on the right analog stick at all times. Then as for the Pro Controller, you can use the communicator layout in conjunction with the previous layout, but since we're using L3 for jump jet, we have to reallocate where ping in world should be. On the communications tab, scroll down to ping in world and bind it to the right d-pad. Now on your pro controller, remap the down d-pad to the left back button, and then the right d-pad to the right back button. This ensures that you'll be able to communicate effectively without having to hover in place, just to press the d-pad. And since you have a clearer view of the battlefield, this will also allow you to tag enemies that may be trying to flank your teammates. And as for my own preferred pro controller layout, that would be the Rocket Man layout. Back on the controls panel for Farah, just make sure your settings are switched back to the default layout. Now on your pro controller, remap triangle to the left back button, and then L1 to the right back button. Feel free to swap these two if you wish. I find that juggling the hover button is still a lot easier when using the L2 button, and whether that's mapped to the jump or secondary fire is really up to you. But this layout will allow you to keep your index finger on the L2 button, while still allowing you to access your rocket jump or rocket barrage whenever you have an immediate need for either, and at the same time, keeping ping in world to L3 for essential communication. There are so many ways to customize your button layouts for the pro controller of your choice, but these are the three I found most useful when playing Farah. If you have your own preferred button layout, feel free to share it in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more of my custom layouts for other Overwatch 2 heroes, consider subscribing to my channel for future updates. GG everyone. Peace!